When your ex realizes they made a mistake. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the two times when your ex is going to realize they've made a mistake. So there are gonna be two times when your ex has realized they have made a mistake. So they might not experience both of these things, but they will experience at least one of these things. Especially if they do still feel very attached to you and they do still love you and care about you in some way. Now, it might not be the case that they will um, deeply, deeply regret breaking up with you. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that they won't deeply regret it, but it's very important to know that you don't know exactly how much your ex is going to regret the relationship breakup. It's very unrealistic to kind of uh, imagine and presuppose how they're going to feel and how deep they're gonna hurt. It might be just something that they just think just once, um, or it could be something that they do think about a lot. Like you don't know. The fact is, is we just don't know how they're going to deeply feel these regrets and at these certain times. So I'm gonna get into the first time your ex may realize that they have made a mistake. And that first time is at the beginning of the breakup, when the breakup has just happened. So this could be like the preceding days and weeks, um, very close to the breakup. So this is when they're most likely going to regret the breakup. And the reason why this is the most likely time that they're gonna regret the breakup is because of how close it is to the breakup. So that means their emotions are still very raw about the relationship, um, it's still very fresh in their memory and things like that. So those emotions are very, very intense. And because when you break up with someone, it is an intense experience, especially if you did have a long-term relationship with that person. You know, it takes very, it takes a lot basically to break away from those attachments to people. So that's most likely when they're going to come back into your life as well. That's most likely when they're going to actually say that they regret the decision and try to make it work with you again. So there might not be like a determining factor, a determining point of what's going to like trigger this. It could be the fact that you've gone into no contact with them and that's what makes them regret the decision. It could be something that they do themselves. They might be listening to a song on the radio and it reminds them of you um, and that's when they kind of feel a bit of regret. It might be just them thinking back on the relationship um, and thinking about the good times. That's when they're going to regret it. Um, it could be a situation where they are kind of thinking about the pros and cons. Like they may get to a point where they feel like their life is worse off than when they were with you and they start to feel a lot of nostalgia and feeling like, oh yeah, my life was so much better when I was with um, my ex that's when those feelings are going to bubble up that's when they're going to feel like they made a mistake when those kinds of experiences start happening and they start thinking about it and this is all likely to happen within the first few weeks first few days of a breakup um, it's less likely to happen after like years and more months have passed by because obviously time as time moves on we we heal and get over certain situations and things like that so it's very unlikely that they're going to feel that kind of thing just then, um, but it's more likely to happen at the beginning of the breakup um, when they feel like they've made a mistake, especially if their life with you was a lot better than what the life they are living currently. Now, if their life is better, if they are enjoying the fact that they've broken up with you, if they're relieved that they've broken up with you and they feel that like, ah, oh, thank God for that. If they feel that, then it's very unlikely that they are actually going to regret the decision and they're gonna think that it was a mistake. But who knows, you know, they might change their mind eventually about it. They may see things differently, especially when like nostalgia hits and they are thinking back on the relationship with rose colored glasses, as sometimes most people do after a breakup. They thinking, you know, thinking of the what if I stayed and they're thinking about the fun times and stuff like that. Um, but if the like bad times outweigh the good times, it's more likely that they're gonna think and focus more on the bad times, especially if the bad times were really, really bad and the good times were just, you know, okay. So that's something that they're going to experience, that's something they're going to think about, and that's most likely when they're going to think that the breakup was a mistake, when they are thinking back on the relationship and realizing that they were better off with you than without you but it might be the case that they don't feel that way. They feel like they're better off without you. And then it's very unlikely that they're going to regret the decision. So if currently they don't regret the decision, which might be a possibility, 
if they are not regretting and they're relieved and they're thankful for the fact that they're not with you anymore, there is a future time when they may regret breaking up with you. And that leads me into the second time when your ex will regret breaking up with you. And this is later down the road when perhaps you've achieved a certain amount of success or you've become really, really happy with your life. And they might be able to see that through social media or find out through mutual friends or something like that. So it's really important then when you break up with someone that you don't have a pity party or at least if you do have a pity party by yourself you don't post anything about it on social media so if you're sad about the breakup and you're going through a really tough time about it don't let social media know don't let anyone know that it can filter through and get back to your ex so don't post anything on social media because you don't know your ex could be stalking your social media and don't let it filter through mutual friends so your ex finds out about how miserable you are through your friends because that's going to make them because that's not going to make them regret breaking up with you. What's going to make them regret breaking up with you is if you are, you know, tackling your goals and dreams, creating a better life for yourself, becoming more happy and more successful and doing so genuinely. Obviously, you might have to fake it before you make it a little bit in order to, you know, get ahead. But um, ultimately, you want to make sure that you reach a genuine place of happiness and fulfillment because that's what's going to make them regret leaving you because, you know, most people don't do that kind of thing. Most people don't try and design a lifestyle that they're happy about. Most people don't try and uh, conquer their dreams. Most people don't tackle their goals. Most people procrastinate. Most people don't do those things. Most people, you know, um, let the time go by and not tackle their goals. But if you're not doing that and you're actually working towards becoming successful and achieving your goals and having a better life, um, when that kind of stuff gets filtered through to your ex, when that kind of stuff they can see when they stalk your social media page is what's going to make them regret leaving you. They're going to think, oh my God, this person is doing so much better without me. What the heck, <laughs> right? So that's kind of like what you need to do. You want to give them that impression. Now, obviously you don't want to rub it in people's faces because obviously if you do that and it's kind of directed towards your ex, then you kind of still a little bit attached to your ex or you might be rubbing it in other people's faces as well. So you kind of have to create this like little balance of, yeah, you post stuff on social media or stuff that is really positive, that you're enjoying your life and stuff like that, but you don't want to be doing it in a way that's arrogant, that is very egotistical. You want to be doing it in a way that feels natural and in a way that feels authentic, okay, and not phony. So you kind of need to get the balance right there. So that's really important. If you're wondering what your passion is, I highly recommend that you go and watch this video on how to find your passion in under 20 minutes. So the way that I personally see this is when you have a genuine success, like when you achieve something genuine, so it could be something like, let's say like weight loss, right? Let's say you've lost five pounds. You know, you can post something like that on social media, like, yeah, I lost five pounds this week or something. But don't be like posting every single day about how great and amazing your life is. Just post those little successes when they do happen. And that's what's gonna make you look more genuine. Like if you write a book and your book goes on Amazon or something, or it gets put in a shop and you're like, wow, look, yeah, you post that on social media. That looks, that's a genuine success. If you lose a bit of weight, if you lose a few pounds, put that on social media. Um, if you manage to bench press more than what you've been able to in the past, yeah, post that on social media because that's a real success. But don't be posting things that aren't real. Don't be posting things that are fake. Don't be posting things that are not genuine because it's those real successes, those real little, like, um, little nuggets of happiness um, that are really going to make a difference. And it might be the case, like something like this might only happen to you like once every couple of months. Like you might have like a real good success, not very often, but so that's basically when you want to post. Um, so it might not be, so you can't, won't be, so you won't be posting every single day. And that's really important as well, because you obviously you want to filter, because obviously if you are in people's news feeds all the time, you become too familiar. So in order to look rare, in order to look more interesting and mysterious, only post every so often anyway when you do have one of those little successes that you think is really noteworthy. Um, and that's what's going to make the difference. That's what's going to make you look genuine. It's what's going to make you look mysterious and interesting. And when your ex sees that kind of stuff, that's when they're going to start questioning like, oh, 
look what they've done. They've, they, 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 they were talking about this kind of stuff when they were in that relationship with me. They said that they wanted to lose weight. They said they wanted to get really fit or they said they wanted to start that business or turn that hobby into a business or they said that they wanted to write that book or something, um, whatever it is for you, right? Um, and now they're like, oh, wow, they've actually done it. They're actually doing all those things that they said they were going to do and they're conquering those things. And I didn't, maybe, perhaps they didn't believe in you and they might, and they would say that to themselves like, oh my God, I, I didn't believe in them and they're doing all these things and they're, they're doing what they said they were going to do and they look really happy. They look really fulfilled. Damn it. I shouldn't have broke up with them. They're actually not what I thought they were or something like that. Like that's what's going to come into their head. That's what they're going to start thinking. Or it might just dawn on them slowly over time and they'll have that feeling. But the thing is they really do genuinely need to be improving your life and trying to get happier and trying to um, uh, improve your life and not just posting things on social media because people can usually tell if things are genuine and if things are not genuine. Um, so try and only post those accomplishments, those good things that happen to you um, when they do happen and not fake it. Um, so those are the two times when your ex may regret breaking up with you when they feel like the breakup was a mistake. The first one was at the beginning of the relationship and the next one might be something that is later down the road. If you would like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com to get coaching with me and I shall talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye guys.